What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can restore our PC using the reset feature built inside Windows 10. Now if you've run into problems i.e. your PC doesn't boot or you've got malware on the system or you've got corruption with your registry or Windows files and you want to restore your PC then using the reset feature is a way to go. Now you've got a choice of resetting it completely and saving nothing or um, resetting it by just keeping your applications and, and other parts of your data on the system and we'll cover that as we go through the process. So first off there's a couple of ways of going about resetting your PC. So if your system is not booting and you can't get to the desktop I'm going to show you a few steps to take to actually boot into uh, the reset PC feature which is in Troubleshoot. So we're going to load up our Windows CD or our USB flash drive and boot to that device so we can enter the uh, reset PC. So let me show you this way first. I'm going to restart our PC. So we've entered our BIOS here and this is a standard BIOS. Uh, yours may be a UEFI BIOS. Uh, you can change the boot order uh, by using your cursor keys to move on to boot here. And now if you've got a UEFI BIOS sometimes you can push F12 or F11 uh, to change the actual boot order without going into the BIOS or you can change the boot order inside the BIOS and change it back and there's F2, delete, there's loads of different keys for different types of uh, motherboards uh, that you've got. So as you can see here we've got the boot device here, removable devices, that is for a flash drive. Uh, so we're going to be changing this uh, feature by using the shift key and moving up and down as you can see here. And once you've done that you just have to select the plus sign like so the shift and plus sign and that will move that up to the top there now we're going to push F10 to save this now F10 is pretty much the standard F, uh, save and exit and that's what we're going to use so we just push enter key to boot to the CD So once you've booted to your CD or USB flash drive, depending which one you've uh, selected here, we're just going to leave the um, language as is for this. And uh, we don't want to click on install here, we want to click on repair your computer. Now the choose an option screen, uh, we want to go to troubleshoot here. And then as you can see here, we have this feature here called reset this PC. If you want to go through this process, you can do. I'm going to go back to the desktop and I'll show you the full process from there but that's how you can get to this reset this PC from here but you'll see the whole process at the desktop and it's exactly the same if you've got to this point uh, when you can't boot your PC so let's reboot our system okay so we're at the desktop and uh, we're going to be continuing with our reset the PC from our desktop now I will show you the full process from the desktop so if you have booted from a Windows CD or a USB flash drive and you're now at that reset the PC just watch the rest of this video and you'll see what to do from that point so let's continue so as you can see here there's a num number of different ways of getting to reset this PC from the desktop you can click on the start button here and go settings this will open up your settings uh, window and from here you want to go to update and security click on this and then you want to come down to where it says recovery now recovery you will get this get started from here and this is how you can start so you can click on this and uh, as you get to this stage you can see here it says keep my files remove apps and settings but keep your personal files or you can remove everything it depends on which way you want to go so if you want to keep your apps and settings uh, click this option uh, but if you've got malware on the system or something like that and it's corrupted I would suggest that you go with the remove everything option so we'll remove everything and now once you get to this option you will see just remove my files and this will be quicker but less secure use this if you're keeping the PC now if you're removing your PC i.e. getting rid of it selling it on eBay or whatever it may be you may want to use this method and this makes it harder for them to uh, get data off your drive it's probably still possible but it's a much safer option um, but I'm going to cancel this and now show you another way 
uh, as well which hasn't got this option just to make sure that the other people that have booted from a CD will see exactly the way uh, I want to show them so we're going to close this off another way is to hold the shift key down and then restart the computer and you can hit the power button hold the shift key down and restart don't take your finger off the shift key hold it down and then you will get this option which is where we was at when we booted from the CD hit troubleshoot reset this PC and then you can see here we've got options like keep my files and remove everything so if we did this option which I'm going to select again it's going to start preparing to wipe the system it's just getting things ready to reset this PC so we're now now at the reset this PC and it will say do you want to fully clean the drive uh, when you remove your files you can also clean the drive so that the files can't be recovered easily this is more secure but takes much longer now this could take a good couple of hours to do depending on the speed of your computer and how big the drive is uh, you can just remove your files use this if you want to keep uh, if you're keeping your PC you can use this option if you're cleaning the drive which is this option here uh, you can completely wipe the drive and it will do a number of overwrites I would imagine to clean that drive okay we're just going to hit just remove my files and you will lose everything here and we're going to click next here and once we've done that you can see here we've got an option uh, all ready to go make sure that your PC is plugged in Resetting will remove all your personal files and user accounts on this PC, any apps and programs that you didn't come with this PC, and any changes made to, uh, made to the settings area. So everything will be put back. So we're going to click reset now, and this will take a good while to do, okay? So the computer will need to restart a few times during the installation process and you can see now the installation is starting 10% and it's now starting to install features and drives onto this computer. And once this has been completed you should have a nice fresh clean install of your windows. So we'll just let this carry on. It can take a fair bit of time to install as you can see here the PC will restart several times sit back and relax uh, depending on the speed of your computer or depending on how fast this installs. Okay so we now have the hello there screen and all we need to do here is select our time zone and our language and region and everything else so I'm just going to quickly change this time zone you can change this by the drop down menu here and depending on where you live around the world you can select your time zone and we'll just select that we'll go next so it's going to apply those settings and changes and here we have some legal stuff uh, you can read through that if you wish go accept and again now we're going to customize our settings now you can use express settings if you wish uh, I'd advise you to use the customize settings uh, to customize them to your choice depending on what you want to do here your locational area is to do with your Katana if you want to use that then you may want to leave that on but we're just gonna have this off Go next browser protection smart screens very good for malware protection so I'd leave that on um, this one is going off as you can see here browser data will be sent back to Microsoft I do not wish that again it depends really what you want to set yours as so we're just going to click next and let the installation process finish off So next up here we have the who owns this PC you can choose an organization or I own it I'm going to choose I own it and then 
click next Next we get a chance to make it ours or yours and you can see here you can either create an account with uh, Microsoft if you wish or you can just use a local account. I'm going to be using a local account. I'm going to skip this step but if you want to create one you can create one here by clicking on this. If you already have one you can just put in your details into these two boxes and click sign in but I'm just going to skip this area. So what we're going to do here now is just going to quickly type in here a name and you can put in your passwords if you want and a hint. I'm going to click next. And it's just going to set up a few more things and we should be at the desktop very shortly. And there we are back at the desktop we can select networks click yes there so that's basically how you can do reset this PC on Windows 10 now if you've had malware on the system or you've had a corruption with your registry or corrupt uh, Windows files or any of these things then uh, any audio problems or sound prob of graphics problems or anything like that reset your PC and putting it back will put everything back to uh, the way it was. The only trouble is you have to reinstall everything uh, that way. And uh, basically that's how you can create a reset for this PC in Windows 10. Now if you've had issues with a corrupt registry or error messages popping up and you can't solve them, malware on the system, uh, corrupt Windows files or any of that sort of stuff, uh, or you just fancied uh, to reinstall the system then this is the way you can do it so i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when i upload new videos also if you want to join my forums you can do so but for free and also post any problems you may have with your computers over there or any video requests or any questions you may have post them on the forum also, you may want to join my Facebook fan page. It's easy to do. You just click the like button and you become a fan of my channel and what I do. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.